Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Lars back with another vlog episode and in today's episode I want to teach you guys a very practical tip that I use in just about every video that I edit. Let's go. And before we get started, please remember if this video was helpful to you in any way or answered any of your questions, please just drop a like, comment, or subscribe and help me out in the same way that I'm helping you out. All right, scenario time. You're sitting at your desk. It's a rainy, cold night. You've been working on this video all night long. You're breaking a sweat. You've worked so hard on this video. You can't wait for it to be done and show your boss. And then you say, oh, all I need now is a song. Let me just go find a song and just slap it on there. So you go to your website, wherever that may be, and you find your song. You find the perfect, perfect song. And you're scheming. Ah, oh, yes, this is going to be perfect. And you put that song into your project. You get it all ready to go. You slap it right underneath your project, your video, and you see, what? It's too short. What the, what am I supposed to do? Oh my God, I'm way farther from being done than I thought. What do you do? What do you do? Who comes to your rescue at this time? I'll tell you who, me. That's right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to remix your songs to the exact desired length that you want. And I'm gonna show you in two different ways, automatic and manual. You're going to need Adobe Audition for the automatic way, but for the manual way, you only need Premiere Pro. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro and we have our video that we edited that we need to put music underneath and our song right here that is too short for the video. And this is actually a placeholder video that I'm gonna pretend I edited for the sake of this tutorial, but this is actually my 007 live action N64 GoldenEye video. And I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, no spoilers, but you gotta go watch it yourself. It's on my channel. It's actually been doing pretty well as far as views. So that means it must be good, right? You gotta check it out. So. This song is our chosen song. It's what we want to be underneath the video, but it's too short. And this process will work if your song is too short or too long. It doesn't matter how long you need to make the song, the process is gonna be the exact same way. So with our song already in Premiere Pro, not remixed at all, you're gonna wanna go to the end of the video and just get a good idea of how long you need the song to be. Right, that's a great starting point. So about a minute and 33 seconds is how long this video is. And if you look at this song, it shows that the song is actually a minute 18, but it's not because you can see with the waveform, which I'll expand to make a little bigger, that the song actually ends right here. So it doesn't end where it says it ends, it ends about a minute 15. So that means that I have, let's see, a minute 15 to a minute 18. That means I have two seconds that I need to account for, two extra seconds of nothing that I need to account for. So you'll see, we'll get to that in just a minute. So we'll zoom back out. Okay, so the very first step is open up your finder window and navigate to the song in the original location as it's related to the file path in this project. So find the song that you have put into this project, essentially, and right click on that song and open with Adobe Audition. And it's gonna load the song into Adobe Audition and look just like this. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna navigate up to multi-track up here, click on that, and we're gonna create a new session. So we're gonna name this, let's just name this house song multi-track, oops, not multi-cam, I'm really used to doing that. Mix it down and make sure you browse to get the correct location. This is so important. You do not want to save it in some place that you are unfamiliar and have no idea where it's at. So this is a folder called just for the video. I'm going to make a new folder and say house song mixed down and put it in there. 
and then template none, sample rate 44100, bit depth 32, mix, stereo, all good. Say okay, and it will pull up this multi-track looking thing. So we're gonna immediately just grab that song, put it right in there, and then we're gonna come over here under properties and click enable remix, and it will start analyzing the song. And then, once it has analyzed the song, you'll see this target duration, and you can actually change these values right here. But do not make the mistake of just coming into this dialog box and just deleting all these numbers, because then you're going to get confused with the placement of each numbers. So just delete the actual placement values that you want to get rid of. So remember how I said there was about two seconds in that song that was kind of just silence that wasn't much of anything at all? Well, we need this song to be a minute 33, but really we need this song to be a minute 35 because there's two seconds that basically has no sound within the song. So let's just do that. Put in 35, we already have the minute marker. We're doing the 35, press enter and it will create these breaks within the song right here you can see these little squiggly lines that's where it mended the song together and created a new version of that part in order to add more time or subtract time from the song so you will want to just go through and check these squiggly marked areas real fast to make sure that they sound good so let's do that. Let's just start. There's another one's coming up. All right. I would say that is basically flawless, but let's check these other two as well. All right, flawless, absolutely flawless. Now let's just say that we just tried the audition method and we weren't really impressed with how audition handled it and stitched the song together. Maybe there's parts in the song that repeat that you don't want repeating, or maybe they brought out different parts of the song that you don't want to be in there, or maybe there's a whole section of the song that you just want to completely cut and you only want the very beginning part of that song. Well, let's do that in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you right now how we can manually do that with our song in Premiere Pro. So first of all, you're gonna want to zoom in on the song very, very closely. You're gonna want these waveforms to just be popping in your face. So I'm gonna make all this smaller and just make this huge. You just really want to see those waveforms because that is the only way we're gonna be able to do this is by very closely paying attention to these waveforms. So let's just say that right here, okay, sorry about that. So if I were to make this song longer, I need to repeat a part of the song that is kind of not very noticeable, that can kind of just slip under the radar and is just like, oh, okay, that part's being repeated again. So obviously we don't want to mess with any parts that's like a little drop right here where it gets low and then the drop comes right here because that's just not gonna sound good. So let's listen to this middle part because these middle waveforms are kind of looking like they are very similar, like it's kind of repeating the same beat. So let's just listen. Okay, so we heard the same thing repeat. Let's do that again. Okay, so that is where I want to repeat, right here. That was kind of like the end of a measure, so that's where I want it to repeat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my razor tool. 
I do C, or if you don't have that shortcut, you can go right here. And we're gonna cut right there. Actually a little after. A little bit after that initial bump right there. Perfect. And then we're gonna go back and listen to the song and see what we can hear that is repeating. Okay, so this part right here is very similar, right? So. Right there, that's our hit. So we want to cut right here. And let's see how long this piece is. This is four seconds. So we can repeat this exact part as many times as we want. So let's do that. We're going to hold option, click and drag down to duplicate this part. And we're gonna bring this forward. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to line this up. So this is our first hit. This is our last hit. They look almost identical. You can literally just probably put them right on top of each other. And yeah, you want to be super zoomed in so you can see this. Make it as close as you possibly can. And then listen. Whoa, that's basically seamless, right? One more time. Okay, so we're getting there, right? We have this part that we can repeat over and over. What we can do is we could just put this part of the song right where we want it to end already so that we know how much space we need to fill up within this part. And let's see. I mean, this song definitely does not go with this video or anything, but we're just pretending. Okay, so let's say that that is our chosen spot for that song to end. We already have it put right there so we know how much space we need to fill right here. And since we know that these parts match up perfectly, what you can actually do is line it up right on top of this line right here so that it's flush against this line. And then you're gonna click on here and go to the marker point and you'll see it makes a marker and then what you're gonna see is that it makes the marker on the same on this part that we duplicated too because this is the same piece right we duplicated it so all we have to do is then duplicate again hold option click drag and it's automatically in the exact place we need it to be because we have this marker and when you drag it and it's lining up with the marker, you'll see that the marker lights up like that. So, and then without even looking, thinking anything, boom, just like that. So then same thing, we do it again. Option, hold, drag to duplicate. And then we just line it up with our marker without even thinking about it. Just like that. Okay, keep going, because we still got a little space to fill here. Option, click, drag. Boom, okay. Now, so as you can see, we have not the same amount of space between these spaces right here to fill, so that's okay. We'll just figure out how to make it fit in that part. We're gonna option, click, drag, duplicate again put it on the marker again, and we're going to analyze these waveforms and see what could possibly match up with this. Maybe, let's just, let's just kind of mess around and see what sounds good. So I probably don't want all this. And 
I mean, those are looking pretty similar waveforms, so let's just listen. Yeah, that's obviously a little off. Oh, and when we zoom in very, very close like this, we can see that it was just simply a frame off. Okay, the, that's sounding a little dirty, a little messy. So in that case, just try to shorten these pieces as much as you can. Because you just want the overlap to be as little to non-existent as possible. So let's listen again. It's all right, you know. I think maybe this part is a little too much. Maybe we need to. There we go. That's looking like something right there. And sometimes you do just kind of have to mess around with the song until you see something that actually matches, looks the same. Oh. All right. And that is going to be what your project looks like. You're going to have these cool layers of music and let's go through the whole thing real fast. Hey, seems pretty seamless to me. And you want to listen to your song at the end, just like we did, and see if it just sounds like a normal song. If you can like hear anything that is obviously wrong with the song, then you have made a mistake. But yeah, this process is definitely a lot of trial and error. I mean, you're definitely gonna have a little trouble with the manual method in the very beginning at least. It definitely is for pros. I mean, I don't know that much about music at all and I was able to do it, but if you know more about music, then this will probably be a lot easier for you. But the manual method is definitely the more professional way because you can control the song in the way that you want it to be, the exact way you want it to be, and you can repeat the exact parts you want. But in the very beginning, I would recommend just using the Adobe Audition automatic way, just so that you can kind of get used to the process. And that will actually teach you why you want to do manual, because eventually you're gonna have a song where you want specific parts to play at specific times, and Adobe Audition's just not gonna know that. They're just gonna remix it to be whatever they think it should be or whatever it thinks it should be. But as you keep editing videos and remixing your own songs, you're gonna realize that both methods work great for different reasons. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed jamming out with me today. Well friends, I hope this tutorial was entertaining and helpful to you so that you know how to remix your own songs to the exact desired length for your videos. And I really hope that this helped your editing workflow in some way, making it a little faster when it comes to the music part. And if it was helpful, please drop a like, subscribe, or comment. It would really help me out. Otherwise, I hope you are thriving, chilling, and killing. Please don't be afraid to email me at laurapintaro at gmail.com. I answer all my emails personally, and I would love to hear from you, any critiques, suggestions, or anything like that. Hope you all are doing well. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day.